Good morning, how are you today? I am just going for a run. I didn't wake up till uh, like 8 o'clock or something this morning, so it's like half past 8 now. And I'm going outside. Hopefully, yeah, the wind seems to have died down after yesterday. The winds were crazy, crazy yesterday. I had read that um, they thought the winds were going to be just as bad today, if not worse, but it seems like they're not going to be. Well, actually, maybe they are. That feels quite uh, quite bad. Oh my goodness, it's crazy windy. Not so bad at the moment because I'm walking down this narrow little path by the uh, train track. The train track is just over there, so it's kind of blocking from all the wind, but wow, it's mad. Question for you, you know when you're walking along the pavement and someone's coming up towards you, do you <laughs> look away, like look down, just look at them and do nothing. Do you smile? Do you say hello or whatever? Like, what do you do? Because I, oh, like if it's in the morning, I generally, I will say good morning. Oh, actually no, I'm telling a lie. If it's an old person, I think, and I don't know why I do this, but if it's an old person, generally I'll say like morning or afternoon or whatever. If it's a younger person, I think I like look and smile. A couple of people have just like been walking past me like individually like on their own and like all of them have like looked like stared at me in the eyes didn't smile didn't anything didn't acknowledge me just like stared at me and i thought that's a weird thing to do let me know in the comments what do you do when you're like when you're on your own and they're on your own what do you do right let me get back to my run get blown away having a bit of a work morning both me and Stephen I'm sitting editing yesterday's vlog actually and he's sitting doing some work we've had to put up this screen <laughs> because he's on let me show you he's on his computer we're gonna like scare me or something yeah, <laughs> whoa <laughs> okay you scared me anyway um we weren't very good but I kept distracting him and stuff and so I was like we need a, we need a screen and Stephen was like we have screen so we put this up so we can't see each other and actually it's doing a good job i'm like i'm concentrating now but um we've had a big huge chat this morning you say as you're recording yourself doing talking not doing what don't, not do what i'm supposed to be doing yeah but this is anyway we've had a huge big chat this morning and if you've been watching these vlogs for a while you will know that kind of last September we took off, we went travelling, Stephen was supposed to start secondary school um, when in the UK you start high school, secondary school when you are 12 and you go into year 7 instead of starting year 7 in secondary school we went travelling the plan was go for a year, see how it goes and everything obviously now we are, our school year runs from September to July so September he would have started year 8 we went here at the time um, if it was down to me I would be just constantly travelling. I have spoken about it before on the vlogs. I don't like living in here, this town. I, I used maybe not even travelling, but I would move somewhere else. I want to be where it's warm, where there's a beach, um, and I would maybe try and do that. But we have just had the sun keeps coming in and out of the clouds. The clouds are beautiful today, by the way. They're what I call care bear clouds, like soft and fluffy, and I feel like I want to just like bounce along, run along on them beautiful i would i just i don't want to live in this i've lived in this town all my life and i don't want to be here anymore and you know that's just how it is and like i was just saying to steve i think ideally maybe now if it was up to me maybe not even travel but i would say maybe let's go and live in australia by the beach you can go to school in australia or you can we can get i don't know like that would maybe be the ideal for me something like that where we're just in a new location we can travel around the new location but we have like a base financially that is just not viable for us it's not an option so it's kind of okay yeah that is my ideal but it's not where we can't do it 
and Stephen just doesn't want to. He wants to be here, he wants to be in this town, he wants to be with his friends and his cousins and that's just what he wants to do and I think I've battled with this for a couple of months. I think maybe back at Easter, uh, I had like a mini breakdown I think when he was saying that he wanted to go back to school. Um, and I think I, I think that, you know, we need to look at options and things and we've just had like huge chat about the different options and how we can make it work. And ultimately, I don't want him to look back on his childhood and think like that I ruined it for him or that I was kind of selfish and just I wanted to travel and so I took him out of school and I just travelled and he was unhappy all the time and I don't want that. That would just be like my worst nightmare. And so part of me kind of thinks he's 12 you know he shouldn't have a say not he shouldn't have a say but like ultimately it's my decision but then I also think he's 12 he should have a say um he wants to go to the local school and part of me is like well I don't agree with the whole educational system anymore ever since the whole idea of homeschooling sort of came on my radar I have like read a ton or not maybe not a ton quite a few books listen to podcasts and you know watch videos of people who homeschool and things and it is a a lifestyle a, a, I don't know what you would call it but it's something that I am fascinated by and really interests me and I don't really agree with our educational system and so it seems crazy to me that I would potentially send Stephen to it but in a way I wish like I could start all over again I wish I could be 21 know what I know now about how I I mean maybe I wouldn't feel that way but you know like homeschooling wasn't a thing that I even it was I knew about when I was having Stephen and, and traveling wasn't something that I thought was possible and I wish I was 21 just had Stephen and decided to go traveling and would start YouTube YouTube wasn't around when I was 21 but anyway yeah that's I wish I could have a do-over <laughs> on my adulthood if I'm honest but anyway that's not the case I'm going off talking about other things well yeah um anyway the chat we've just had he wants to go to school and I think we've given it a go I think to be honest we started too late or, yeah we started too late with it he's got he's got roots here and he's got friends here and he's got a whole way of thinking and a whole way of life that he had for like seven years eight years in this country going to school and everything and I think that's kind of too ingrained in him possibly so I think what I'm going to do later on after I finish this edit is film the oh god it filled me with dread I'm going to phone the school and see about him going to the school we've talked about different options about maybe like me doing because obviously we live with my mum whilst we're here so we've talked about different things of potentially like i don't i obviously don't want to be away from him or whatever but he is getting older and it is going to be a thing that you know he's getting old we do have an incredibly close relationship and we do spend a lot of time together especially of course when we're traveling um but we've talked about things i said like would you like if i was to go i could still do certain amounts of traveling and things and what are you doing is there a cat there? Yes, yeah, it's fine. Where? Right here. Um. Oh, you're so cute. Come here. You're so cute. You're the cutest thing in the whole world, isn't he? Just the cutest thing. He kind of stinks. In the whole. Oh, go away. Well, not like stinks. pooey stinks. <laughs> I don't know. Just other types of stink. Okay. Um. Yeah, we've talked about options of like he could. I, I could potentially like go on a month long trip and don't get me I mean I would, I would hate to be away from him for a month like you could go live with like stay with your dad or you could like and he didn't want to do that he was thinking that he could just stay here like his computer's here this is his home this has in all honesty we have spent a lot of time living at my mum what, what was my mum and dad's house um like when we, he was born we lived here for a few years and things and so this is kind of his home and he would rather do that and I mean the possibilities obviously we don't know but it could be that I could go off on week trips and he's perfect you know he's almost 13 my mum's here um it could be that I could still do a certain amount of traveling and he goes to school and it could or it could be like just in the school holidays we do things and 
I don't know at the moment and I am trying to remain positive about it it's just like rather than focusing on the negative I don't like this place I don't want to be here but if that is what is going to be I need to look at the positives of it and try and make it as happy as I can make it um so yeah I mean, that was a big rant wasn't it I'm gonna get back to the editing and um yeah give the call a ring give the call a ring give the school a ring in a little minute I think when I'm done my edit to see what they say he did Stephen did say that he would <coughs> he would be like you want to start like next week and I was like <laughs> um wow like you really do want to start and um I have a feeling well it's next week we're due to go to my sister's in Wales and then the week after is half term so the kids are off so I was like well you could start like after half term but I have a feeling uh, I have a friend that was trying to get their kid back into that school I have a feeling that they phoned up and they said there's no spaces until January so potentially that he can't start till January <laughs> I wanted to go to Mexico in January South America was the plan for January oh well Right, I'm not going to dwell on it, I'm going <laughs> to, oh my god, I'm going to just get to work, finish this edit. tried phone in the school they're not answering I can't get through it said I should leave a me maybe I should leave a message right I'm gonna phone back and leave a message if you don't answer what is the music it's terrible oh hi I was just thinking about the possibility of enrolling my child in be in year eight uh, we've been traveling for a year he was he got a place in year seven but then we've been traveling for a year and we're now ready for him to start school if you could give me a ring back uh, it's oh seven okay so i've left a message for them hopefully they'll go back to me today and uh we'll see what they say <sighs> i really don't want him to go to school if anyone watching has any experience of this like their child wants to go to school and you kind of don't agree with the system or vice versa or whatever let me know in the comments kind of how you handled it and what you did and it would just be interesting like am i wrong just to be like yeah okay go to school when i don't agree with it or how much should i listen to his point of view or stuff or whatever just yeah let us know down in the comments even if you're not in this situation what is your opinion on it i would like to hear that i'm gonna crack on with some more work now because i've not done any work this afternoon because i've been on the phone to my sister <laughs> So school has phoned me back. I've just had a conversation with the admin. I don't know what they're called. The person who handles admissions, and she said there's, a, there's actually a waiting list. It, it funny. I didn't even enter my head that there would be. Like, I know I said about like there wasn't space until January, but it didn't even enter my head that he potentially couldn't go there. Uh, she said there is a waiting list for year eight, and it's done like on a point graded system of. I honestly don't know how it works but she's taken all my details and Stephen's details and said she will get back to me with the information she said that you know would look at you potentially might have to look at other schools and I think honestly I don't think Stephen would be interested in going to a different school he wants to go to that school all the kids from his primary school went to that school his cousins are both at that school you know he want i would say that i mean i don't know but i would say that he if the option was that school home school travel a different school in ormskirk i don't think he would choose a different school in ormskirk to be honest but i'm um, we'll just it's kind of a waiting game see what happens see what they say i'm going to go and tell stephen uh, let him know what they said so he's in the loop i went to school and school phoned me back and she said there's a waiting list for year eight. She suggested that if there wasn't space for a different school, 
would you in any way be interested in a different school? No, no I didn't think so. But like, if it was to say you couldn't get to until you're nine, but I don't, we don't know. It could yeah. be that they would say, like, would you think that you'd rather wait in the, it, you, it, or it's that school that that's like everyone's there, all your friends or whatever. Is that what you thought it is? Yeah. yeah? I love yeah. how you said interested. <laughs> but interested in GTA. Yeah. Um, but it's just, she's put all the details forward and it's just maybe they'll get back to next week or whatever and just see. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. So we just, just wait and see what happens with it. Okay? Right, I'm just going around there for 20 minutes or so. Why? Okay. Just speak to Jay. Okay. Okay, see you in a little bit. So I am just going round to my sister's house. I just feel like I need to have a little chat about the whole school thing and yeah, I'm going round there for a little chat. I need, I don't know. I just need to talk to someone about it really. So yeah, I'm going round there for a little while. Okay, I'm here at my sister's. Hopefully by the time I have a little chat with her, I'll feel a problem shared what do we say? A problem shared is a problem halved. I feel like that's what we say. Hopefully. Yeah, I'll feel slightly better. Sorry, I'm bending down to put my bag. I feel better about things. All done with my sisters. I'm going home feeling maybe not better about the situation, but yeah, definitely talking to, about, talking to people about problems and stress and whatever is a good thing. I guess we just kind of see what happens with the whole schooling stuff. I'm gonna go home, get Stephen some tea, and yeah, relax for the rest of the evening, so I'm gonna end it here. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. I've not ended a vlog for ages and said bye. Have bye. Goodbye.